folks, we're uh, cruising down the road, doing a little turkey scouting. Uh, haven't put a video out in a while, and that is 100% my bad because I definitely got a pile of stuff to edit. And I should have had this one out in February when uh, Cole's Naked and Afraid Killing It episode dropped, but I didn't. But it's here now, and this was my trip to Oklahoma with my good buddy Cole Wilkes otherwise known as Flatliner. You guys go over to his YouTube channel and check that out. And of course, you know, we're two Ford and Ford real cameramen and we were more busy uh, hunting than we were filming. So we didn't get a lot of great deer footage, but we had a lot of deer run up to rattle. I've never done a whole lot of on the ground rattling and I learned a few things for sure. Did not kill a deer out there, Cole did. Uh, like literally by the time my plane landed, the first thing I get, turn my phone on. Cole was sitting there with his eight pointer, which was cool, man. Super cool. We had a lot of uh, good close encounters. And the main thing is, I got to hang out with my good buddy Cole. Uh, and then we got to talk about a little behind the scenes on his Naked and Afraid debut. But anyway, you guys enjoy this video. Hit the like and subscribe. Head over to Flatlander. Check that out. I am sure we have not even begun to do some pretty cool videos together. And hopefully, uh, we can patch some stuff together where there's actually some real deer footage. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? All right. Anyway, man, again, thank you guys for everything. And hit that like and subscribe. Take care. Cole and, kill some shit. Cole and his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> it gets lonely in camp after a week. I'm one of those guys. I'm one of those guys. This guy's got an agent. I forgot my binoculars at the damn camp. Dude. Oh, really? Yeah. It's all right. We're, back. we're not too far. No. We're not, not going to We're not gonna hunt this too long, but yeah. welcome to Oklahoma, everybody. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah, there's not a tree out here big enough to crawl up in, so it's going to be different for sure. We're out here with my boy Flatlander, which makes sense because this is some flat ass land. Yeah. But uh, we're going to go kill some deers there. Yeah, let's go do it.
Chappelle R.D. making the taquitos. S.A. Yeah. Have a little lunch, then we're going to go track a buck. Track a buck, guys. I shot a buck yesterday, and uh, I thought the shot was absolutely perfect. Full pass through. I was watching blood just come out of his shoulder. He was quartering to me. And I, I guess he, was, he wasn't quartering to me as much as I thought because I held it tight to the shoulder. I'm afraid, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but there was good blood. I ended up creeping up to him and uh, almost got another arrow in him at 30 yards, but he ended up here in my last footstep. And But after that, I just backed out. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna eat some lunch, then we're gonna go back out and go hopefully recover this buck. Great. And where's the great philosopher Theo Vaughn? He's probably about that tall. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. That's why we, yeah, we do. We need a podcast. That's why we need a podcast. For real, right? Yeah. Doesn't have to be, I don't guess, but there's several elk in this place. This thing is trashed. Ground so hard it's hard to see tracks, but I'd almost suspect it's an elk before I would believe it's a whitetail. Did that. We're working on that thing. Close was he? He was like 30 yards right there to me. Yeah. He was close, man. I had him broadside at 30, and he was locked up and ready for the arrow, man. Yeah. I had a juniper bush between me and him. I couldn't see him. 31 yards. Oh, my gosh. You've been hitting a pop can at that all day, bro. <sighs> it's all right. It's all right. Turn your head around backwards, though. I know. <laughs> Dude, Cole just rattled in about a, what say, 140-inch 10-pointer, probably? It was 140. For yeah. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it ran in 30 yards from probably 150 yards out. It was crazy. <laughs> I, got, I got jacked up on that a little bit, dude. Yeah, I had to like, I'm probably watching the video, you'll see me breathing through it. Yeah, oh, that was intense. He was mad, dude. He was massive, dude. Yeah. He's, with one of these, he would have been even bigger. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he was, he was all day 140. Oh, yeah, 
solid deer solid deer first my first day he's been here a couple of days my first day in oklahoma yeah really second serious hunt we've done dude here we've been here what it took us five ten minutes to hike up the top of the hill maybe yeah I mean, we're back in here but still the scrape that i wanted to put the camera on is literally right here well, we got the wind man Let's i was through. thinking after bumping that doe I was like, there's got to be yeah, a bump right yeah, here. Sitting down yeah. with it, for sure. Sure enough. This time of year, I mean. Dude, huh. he, came, he came from a long way. Yeah, he did. I thought you were seeing the rocks I saw earlier. No, sir. And I was like, dude, this was rocks, no, man. because you it, saw him cut across, yeah. then you were like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, man, you're high. That's, that's the rocks. And then I saw him, I was like, oh, that's oh, not the rocks. Man, All right. Geez. Stay tuned, guys. Cole, Cole's a man. See that guy? Look at that face. Know that name. Y'all, he was... He was a stud buck, man. I mean, he was 10 or 11. Yeah, solid. Solid. All right, let's do it again. Yeah, I'm down. Talking to the neighbors. set an alarm or anything so but it's gonna be right on time everything happens for a reason and we're about to go in here and kill for probably a good buck this is my favorite spot so cold that's a guy who does a lot of ground hunting and uh, <laughs> does a lot of rattling of whitetail. You rattling how many whitetails a year? Probably a couple uh, hundred. Yeah, I don't know a lot. Yeah, so what would you say is the most important piece of gear when you go to rattle <laughs> deer in? Probably some rattling horns. <laughs> <laughs> and we're about, I don't know, probably not quite a mile, maybe a mile in. Yeah, we're a mile. We're probably a mile, a mile and a quarter. Yeah, and guess where the rattling horns are? <laughs> In we truck, and then we ju and then we just saw a buck like 20 minutes ago that was totally callable. <laughs> and as we swoop in to get the wind right, we I'm like, no, oh, we don't have anything to call to the deer to. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go crush some brush together <laughs> and do a bunch yeah. of grunting. <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> Camp on is pretty cool brush blind somebody built out here overlooking this creek bottom they put some thought into that and some time that thing is massive man ah shooting into white log alright so me and Cole were out this morning and it's been kind of a uh, uh see, less than optimal cluster we'll talk about coal for getting those shed to rattle with again so we decided to wash this place out and head back to the truck we get lined up and on our way out we have had like the most interesting uh, assortment of hunting options i guess one could have on public land <laughs> within 70 yards of each other yeah, there's so three it's, setups it's, like it's a showroom of three setups but this guy here whoever you are you win the prize. 
and the prize being the possible Darwinism award. <laughs> yeah, that's everything, kids, you don't do when you set up a deer stand. From the dead tree <laughs> to the unlevel tube. I could go on and on. <laughs> but hey, dude. I will give you props. Check him out. Th this makes it all worthwhile. He's got his prusik hook with his carabiner and his climbing line. So when he breaks the top out of the tree, at least it will hit him in the head and finish him off. It's fixing to break right now. <laughs> Safety fourth. <laughs> That's hilarious. Even, son. Hey guys, we've got red on antlers. I hope. Where are they? Are you serious, dude? Oh, they're right now. <laughs> Me. See his rack and pipe. 